Hey designer Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's Figma tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this hover effect on buttons where the text goes outside and then back in. So let's get started. Alright, so let me show you what we are going to be creating in this video. So we just have a simple rectangle and we have two masks of text. To create a mask, you simply use this rectangle, duplicate it and just place it just below your text and click this mask button right here. Now in terms of text, you can see what I have. I have a top text and I have a bottom text. Now I'm going to get rid of this bottom text just to show you how to create this. So here we have just the top text. Let me duplicate it and double click right here, call it bottom text. And then for this bottom text, I'm going to move it down below and I'm going to do it in such a way that it's going to be quite easy for me to recreate this effect, which I showed you. So let's select entire text, hit shift and bottom arrow two times and then to separate it, I'm going to just select this one two times, select this one two times, select this one two times and then select this one two times. Then I'm going to select everything and just move it out of the way. And now it's nicely masked and you can see where it is and where it goes downstairs. Now top text is going to stay where it is. I'm going to select everything and put everything in a group and call it, for example, main btn like so and then i'm going to create a nice component from there i'm going to create a variant this variant i'm going to rename to hover because we are going to recreate this effect on hover and on hover what i'm going to do is just put this bottom text where it belonged so i'm going to select everything hit shift two times and then just basically move it all in the way so i'm going to hit two times until it matches then deselect this one two times deselect this one two times deselect this one two times and then deselect this last one two times and now i'm going to select my top text and do exactly the same and this is really important because you want to achieve that effect you want to go in the same direction so to do that select everything shift up arrow two times and then i'm going to uh, basically Deselect this last one two times or no, let's select the first one and then two times, two times, two times and two times once again. And let's see if we got the same effect that we wanted. If not, we can just switch it around and do it the other way around. Switch over to prototype, select this top one, pick it right here and then choose while hovering and in this case I'm going to choose instant or let's go with smart animate in this case and let's see how that looks like switch over to assets and I have some example design right here which I'm going to just use really quickly to show off this effect let me hit preview to see what we got so far and just remember if it doesn't work which it does you can always um, rearrange how you want your letters to appear from top and bottom. So basically instead of uh, EX going first, EX can go last and you can go uh, and get a different effect every time. So that's basically it for this short Figma tutorial. Let me know if you like it in the comments below and I'm going to make sure to create a lot more of these short tips. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.